Hello everyone, today we will review the new 2024 GMC Acadia. A new GMC Acadia reclaims its stake in the three-row midsize SUV segment, along the likes of the Ford Explorer, the Kia Telluride, and the Volkswagen Atlas. This third-generation Acadia, which once again shares its platform with the Chevy Traverse, is taller, longer, and wider than before, now comes exclusively with a turbocharged 328-horsepower inline-four engine and is front-wheel drive with all-wheel drive as an option. An eight-speed automatic transmission handles shifting. The Acadia's interior is also updated for the better. The quality and tech inside are an obvious upgrade from the previous plastic container passengers rode in, and the Acadia's increase in size has resulted in far more cargo space, including a large storage area under the floor behind the third-row seats. The rugged-looking-at-four model remains part of the revised Acadia lineup, catering to more rugged lifestyles with an additional inch of ride height and underbody skid plates. The Acadia is new for 2024 as it enters its third generation. The V6 has been dropped this year, replaced by a turbocharged 328-horsepower 2.5-liter inline-four with an 8-speed automatic and available all-wheel drive. The Acadia has grown in this redesign, riding on a 10.6-inch longer wheelbase. It's also taller by 3.2 inches. The price of the 2024 GMC Acadia starts at $43,995 and goes up to $57,695 depending on the trim and options. We'd stick with the entry-level elevation model, which is a solid offering for the price. All Acadias come with the same powertrain and standard all-wheel drive. Plus, the Elevation offers all the expected infotainment and driver assistance tech as standard. Other standard equipment includes 18-inch wheels, a power rear lift gate, a wireless smartphone charging pad, and heated front seats. A panoramic sunroof is optional if you prefer such a feature. Every Acadia is powered by a 328-horsepower, turbocharged 2.5-liter inline-four engine with 326 pound-feet of torque and an 8-speed automatic transmission. All-wheel drive is optional on most trims, standard on at 4, but front-wheel drive is standard. The last-generation Acadia's chassis worked from a platform shared by the Cadillac XT5, Buick Envision, and Chevrolet Blazer, but this new generation shares much of its bones with the new Chevy Traverse. The new Acadia's interior is a cut above the previous models. GMC has fitted better materials and made an obvious effort to improve tech. Thanks to its larger size, additional cubby storage, and a shifter button panel that's been replaced by a column-mounted shifter, cargo and passenger space are greatly improved. The Acadia comes standard with seating for seven, with a three-across bench in the third row and captain's chairs in the second. There's more space for groceries behind the third row and even a helpful storage space under the floor of that area. GMC puts an 11.0-inch digital gauge cluster in every Acadia, along with a large vertically-oriented 15.0-inch infotainment touchscreen. The infotainment display is customizable and uses Google built-in software with voice activation. A 12-speaker Bose stereo system is standard, but an optional 16-speaker theater system is available. Subscribe for more.